Hey, how's it going everyone? Michael back with another YouTube video. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I put out SharePoint, Teams, and Power Automate videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint group. This is very helpful for giving permissions. So to get started, we have a SharePoint that I want to assign a group to. So this can be, if I want the group to be able to edit, to be able to read, to be able to view, full control if you want that. So to start, we want to go into Cogwheel, top right, Site Permissions, Advanced Permission Settings. And once this loads at the top, we have a few options. As you can see, the three default groups that are made on uh, a team communication site. So we want to, let's say, uh, within marketing, we want the business department to be able to have access to our SharePoint so they can come in and view files because we're doing a collaboration or something. So this is a great time or a great uh, use case to create a SharePoint group. So let's go on create group and let's name this business department. This is a group containing business department users. Uh, the group owner, you can make this group owner anyone. I'm just gonna make it myself as I currently own the SharePoint site. Uh, we have group settings, who can view the membership of the group. You can change this to everyone or group members. You've, group members is satisfactory, you can just leave it at that. Unless you want everyone to be able to see it. Who can edit the membership of the group. I highly recommend you leave it as the group owner because if ever all the members had access to that, uh, it can lead to some complications. Allow requests to join and leave the group. So this is pretty much gonna be up to you. If you want someone to be able to handle the request, you can check mark this box, yes. If you do that, you have another option here, auto accept request. You can either change this to yes, I want it to auto accept, or no, I don't want them to auto accept. And if you don't want them to auto accept, then uh, whenever someone requests to join the group, you can send the membership request to the following email address. And this can be an individual, or you can also enter in a group email address if you wanna do that. But we're not going to have anyone handling the request. We're just going to do it ourselves as the group owner. And there's a caution here. You can read just saying if any user requests to join the group, but they're automatically added. And we want to see now we have the option to give this group uh, permissions. So we just want the business department to be able to come in and read documents. We don't want them meddling or editing or anything. So we're just going to sign them read, but you can also do multiple if you want. So if you want them to read and design, you can go ahead and do that. But we're just going to leave it as read and let's go ahead and create. So automatically this group will be added to the, the site. So let me head and navigate back, say permissions, advanced permission settings. All right, as you can see, along with our three default, we also have a business department group now, which is awesome. So if you click on this, you can edit the user permissions if you want. If you want to remove the group, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to check their permission levels, go ahead and click that. But we want to add a few members from the business department. So as you can see, as the owner, it automatically adds me. If you click on new, you can add users. So let's go ahead and add, we'll just add Abby Brown for now. And if you want to hide, uh, show more options, you could send them an email invitation. I usually leave this off because if you are adding like 50 people, it will send out like 50 emails to those people. And I'm just gonna, I usually just leave it off. <laughs> All right, so now you can see Abby Brown is also a part of the SharePoint group. So since she's a part of this business department SharePoint group, she'll have uh, read access to the SharePoint site. And you have a few other things under options. You can email the users, you can call message selected users, you can move users from groups. So let's say I want to move remove Abby, I can do that right here. In the settings, you can go back to the group settings if you want, that will handle the name, permissions, you can view the permissions, make this a default group and list settings. Just click on this, I'm curious. You probably don't need to go in there. But that's a pretty much an overview about how to add a SharePoint group. So since, uh, Everything inherits everything on the main site. I don't have any, you know, 
special permissions on the document library or anything they'll be able to access the whole site you have sub sites which have uh, don't inherit the parent site uh, you'll go ahead and add that sharepoint group to that sub site if you want them to have access but most likely you won't be doing that so if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a comment like subscribe if you have any video ideas feel free to leave them in the comments and i'll catch you in the next one